Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, drama, and horror movie from 2022 called Influence. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a strange girl inviting a blogger to a secret island where people can get away from social media. The scene shifts to Madison, a blogger who passionately talks about how special it is to travel, but for her, it means staying at luxury resorts in Thailand. This makes Abby Sutherland laugh. Madison takes photos and videos, always looking at what other influencers are posting, trying to prove she's good at her job. One evening, a pushy British guy at the bar won't leave her alone. Madison's neighbor from the hotel rescues her and suggests they go for a walk somewhere quieter. While walking on a small bridge over the water, Madison opens up about how she was supposed to go on a vacation with her boyfriend, but he canceled last minute. She also admits that she's not experiencing the local culture, but just hanging out by the pool and pretending otherwise to her followers. Then he proposes a real adventure and they head out on a scooter. They reach a mountaintop at dawn and Madison is so moved by the view that she immediately posts about it, suggesting her followers are missing out if they don't follow her lead. The rest of the day, they explore the less touristy parts of Thailand, like zoos, streets, bars, and simple eateries, with Madison constantly posting photos trying to showcase her unique experiences. After a relaxing evening, the two girls meet some other travelers and hang out with them. When they get back to the hotel, Madison finds her room door open and her stuff all mixed up with her important papers missing. Her new friend helps her call the police, and it turns out that getting a new passport will take two weeks. Her friend suggests they spend this time diving into the local culture together. Madison calls her boyfriend to share the bad news, but he childishly blames her for ruining their work plans, leading to an argument and their breakup. Together, Madison and her friend explore the tourist spots, interacting with the locals and updating their social media along the way. They visit caves, scare away bats, and hang out at a fishing village, always taking photos. The adventure leads them to her friend's place in a quiet area. Early one morning, she takes Madison on her boat to a deserted tropical island. While there, they tell spooky stories around a campfire. Madison jokes about horror movie scenarios, but her friend shares a darker story about leaving Madison alone on the island. Madison laughs it off, thinking her online followers would quickly notice if she went missing. However, she counters that no one would miss her if she disappeared, as anyone could run a meaningless blog. Later, Madison falls asleep, but her friend actually leaves her on the island as she had hinted in her story. Three weeks later, Madison's friend, simply known as C, has taken over Madison's social media accounts using a wig and photo editing to impersonate her. After fulfilling her promotional commitments and making some money, C decides to take a break from social media. Madison's picture is now among four others on C's wall, showing her success and the money she's earned. C roams around Thailand looking for her next target on Instagram. She comes across Jessica, who loves Asian trips. Eager to trick her, C follows Jessica around, eventually trying to charm her in a souvenir shop, but Jessica isn't easily fooled. C doesn't give up, she studies Jessica's social media to find another opportunity. At a bar, C flatters Jessica by acting like a fan, which works. She spins a story similar to the one she used on Madison and even lies about having a big villa on an island. While they're together, C steals Jessica's key card to get into her room later and assume her identity. C waits for Jessica to seek help, then invites her to the villa, but they're shocked to find it decorated with rose petals by Ryan, Madison's boyfriend, who's paying for the place. C quickly changes her plan, uses a voice changer to pretend to be Madison on the phone, trying to get Ryan to leave. However, Ryan wants to meet in person. After they met, the three go to the beach and when Ryan takes a photo of Jessica, he questions her about C and shares the story of Madison's robbery. Connecting the dots, Jessica grows suspicious of C and decides to ask Ryan about his connection to her friend. She also messages Madison to meet, not knowing C has control over Madison's social media and can see her messages. Jessica rushes out to the bar to pack her stuff and escape from C, whom she doesn't trust. C follows her, and during their confrontation, when C can't convince Jessica with her words, 
She resorts to violence, hitting Jessica's head against a wall and then fatally stabbing her in the throat with a stiletto heel. C then packs Jessica's body into a suitcase before Ryan arrives back with friends to party at the pool. C tries to get Ryan to send his friends away when she realizes he's at Madison's place with them, but he refuses. Disturbed by the noise and situation, C contemplates more drastic actions but is interrupted by a notification on her phone. Ryan has tagged her in a photo, blowing her cover. C quickly adapts her plan, pretends to make breakfast as if Jessica had left, and sees that Ryan is distressed by a social media post from Madison about a new love, not knowing it's all C's manipulation. C spends the day with Ryan, secretly drugging his drinks and talking about relationships and blogging. That night, she takes advantage of Ryan's drugged state to stage a scene that suggests they had sex, primarily to get access to his phone to delete the incriminating post. The next morning, Ryan wakes up to find himself naked with a used condom nearby, implying something happened between them. C coldly says goodbye to him at the ferry, ensuring he leaves. Once he's gone, C destroys all evidence of her impersonation of Madison and her crimes. Oddly, she still hasn't disposed of the girl's passport, which could link her to her crimes. The story shifts back to when Ryan first met Madison. After their initial date, Ryan took a photo and encouraged Madison to pursue a career as an influencer. Lost in these thoughts, Ryan visits the hotel in Thailand, which was the location of Madison's last online update. He inquires at the front desk about Madison, but learns she hasn't been there. Later at a bar, Ryan talks to an Englishman who recalls an incident involving a theft in a room at two women who checked out the following day and didn't return. One detail about a birthmark prompts Ryan to investigate further. He shows a hotel photo that appears to have been taken on a different day due to the weather. After contacting one of Madison's friends, Ryan discovers that Madison's last communication was through a voice call. Doubtful, Ryan reviews Madison's social media stories and notices an editing mistake that briefly reveals a birthmark. Back at the villa, he finds a backpack with Madison's diary. Confronting C, Ryan knocks her out and ties her up. Despite being under the influence previously, Ryan remembers their encounter and demands to know Madison's whereabouts. C, however, doesn't easily concede, believing there's no solid proof against her especially since Ryan has now assaulted and restrained her. Faced with a threat from Ryan, C insists she hasn't harmed Madison and proposes to lead him to her. During the night, they go to the dock where C suddenly pushes Ryan to the water and jumps in after him. She frees her hands and uses the ropes to choke him. Then she surfaces, puts his body on a boat, and goes back to clean up any blood. Later, she makes a goodbye post on Ryan's social media and looks through his belongings, excitedly finding a fancy ring. In the morning, C plans to take Ryan's body to the island, but she's shocked to find signs of someone still alive there. Armed with a shovel, C cautiously explores the island, only to find two graves instead of a survivor. While she's distracted by the graves, Madison sneaks up and knocks her out with a strong hit. Tired, Madison heads to the beach where Ryan's body is on the boat. C regains consciousness to the sound of the boat's engine starting and rushes to the beach only to see Madison escape into the distance, leaving her stranded on the island. Realizing the irony of the situation, C nervously laughs as Madison, determined and strong, drives the boat towards populated lands, leaving C behind. The movie closes on this powerful scene. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.